Hello and welcome to Black Desert Online. This video is meant to give new players entering the game an idea of what to do when starting the game. During the course of my gameplay, I've had a lot of frequently asked questions on what exactly do I do when I start playing. In this video, I just want to give some important suggestions and my overall opinion based on my in-game experience. Now I want to start by saying that if you are a veteran in this game and you know what you're doing, this video is not for you. Moving on. When first entering Black Desert Online, you are greeted by a simple tutorial. Get familiar with the Black Spirit in-game as he will have some useful quests for you in the beginning. I strongly suggest newcomers in this game press O on your keyboard and check out their main quest log. I would recommend following this quest line on your journey until level 50. Along your journey in this game, you're going to find yourself in areas with mobs that might be easier to combat and are giving you relatively decent experience. As you run into spots like these, consider grinding there for a bit to obtain some levels. Through your adventures, you will come into better gear, silver, and other areas to discover. Learning how to upgrade your gear and understanding the enhancing system is important for both early and end game progression. I will touch more on the enhancing system in a later video. Continuing through your progress, you're going to notice that once you hit level 49 and get to 99.99%, you can't actually hit level 50. You're going to need to accept a quest given to you by the Black Spirit. They will ask you to summon and kill a monster. Once that monster is dead, your progression towards level 50 and beyond will be available to you. Upon reaching level 50, open world PvP then becomes available, but I wouldn't stress too much over it as the game does have an in-game karma system to help prevent massive grief. Sometimes. Once you hit level 50 in the game, I suggest setting a new goal to push towards level 56, where you can then unlock your character's awakening through a quest given to you by the Black Spirit. Now I would like to take the time to talk a bit about the in-game cash shop. Black Desert Online is a marathon, and it is most definitely not a race. If you decide to play this game, you will most likely be in it for a long time. Any player looking to experience the full potential of this game and wants to invest into it should absolutely 100% pick up pets from the cash shop. I think that this is the most important thing and the first thing that any player should pick up. Pets in the game will automatically pick up loot for you and it will become essential if you want to truly get more out of your game. Players can manually loot, but I would highly recommend any player investing time into this game to pick these up. A player can have a maximum of 5 pets out at a time. They become hungry over time by simply being left out, and you can level them up from them getting hungry and then feeding them. It's as easy as it sounds. Now you may notice a lot of NPCs with exclamation points above their head. These are people that you haven't met. You will also notice that on your radar, they will also appear as a silver question mark. It is essential that you talk to these people. You will obtain knowledge which will increase your energy level. You can also obtain knowledge and energy through discovering land, killing monsters, and much more. But let's keep it simple though. Energy is an important use towards your progression. It is a great early game tactic for making money and obtaining materials to upgrade your gear. Gathering is one example for the use of your energy. Your energy will deplete as you gather, so having a lot of energy will help you through longer gathering sessions. There are other ways to maximize on your use of energy, but I'd like to just explain the basics of its importance. Moving on. Contribution points is the next experience bar that you see below energy. Contribution points, in short, are earned through questing and other various tasks in the game such as cooking and farming. Contribution points are used towards building a worker empire, where you can command a worker to gather specific resources at a node. I will get more into nodes in a later video, but right now, be aware that this is an important thing to start earning. Now, through your travels, you're going to become overweight from time to time, and being able to carry more will always help you bring in a higher pay. The in-game cash shop offers weight and inventory expanding options, which I do recommend, and there are also free ways to increase this as well. To train strength, first locate any trade manager in any city. From there, you will be able to browse what they have for sale, and purchase one of any trade item that they are able to offer you. 
Once you have completed the sale, you will have a backpack of goods and you will move relatively slowly. From there, you can open your map, set a marker, and select the auto path option. Hit T to start auto pathing, and this will allow your character to continuously walk in an endless loop, slowly training your strength. You can also use the auto path feature to simply just run to increase the level of your breath, increasing your stamina. And finally, to level up your health, you can simply eat food. Eating meals in this game will slowly increase your health level and is crucial to begin working on. In your quest log under the suggested tab, you will notice there are inventory expansion quests. I suggest completing these for a little more added space. One of the things that I would like to stress is that this game is very AFK friendly. If you have the ability to leave your computer on, consider getting familiar with the in-game tasks that allow you to make progress even when away. I strongly suggest leveling up weight and stamina in the beginning and taking the time to find a nice comfortable spot to fish. Processing and cooking are two other great forms of semi-AFK friendly activities that require a little more attention but are also great ways to help with early progression. Another thing that I would like to encourage is getting a decent horse sooner than later. Black Desert has a huge map and sometimes the time it takes just to travel can be a difference maker on how efficient you can be. In the beginning, I suggest any tier 5 horse or above will do you just fine for early game. To keep it simple, you can purchase a horse from any stable keeper, just select the stable option, then select the horse market. From there, you can select what tier you're looking for and the rest will fall into place. Lastly, and most importantly, I would like to talk about classes. As I've said earlier, Black Desert Online is a marathon, and you will be spending hours on a character, and I highly suggest taking the time to find one that you enjoy. In the description, I will include a page that shows the majority of classes from pre-awakening to awakening. Take the time to watch these and get a first glance at the class that you may end up choosing as your main. Test them out in game and get a true feel for yourself. In closing, I hope that my opinion and suggestions further help you gain a more enjoyable experience in Black Desert Online. If you have any tips, suggestions, or anything else to add, please feel free to discuss them in the comment section below. I know there's a lot to touch base on, but I think a simple understanding of what you are getting into will help put your foot in the right direction. Welcome to Black Desert Online.